My name is Pastor Ekitu Kuchinedu, and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today we shall be looking at deliverance prayers to wipe off evil marks. Deliverance prayers to wipe off evil marks. Praise the Lord. In this video, we're going to be looking briefly what evil marks are and how to wipe it off by powerful deliverance prayers. Praise the Lord. Now, an evil mark is a spiritual mark placed on a person that attracts evil to that person. You know, like all these um, 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 cultists or bank gangsters and all that, there's this word they normally use. They say when somebody is marked for death, when they have marked you for death, now they have placed a mark on you, not a physical mark per se, but they have added you to the list of those that they will kill. Praise the Lord. In the realm of the spirit, there are marks placed on people. They have bookmarked them. They have added them to the list of people that will suffer certain afflictions in their lives. Praise the Lord. Now, there are evil marks. Evil marks are real. There are people that are carrying evil marks of failures and disappointment in their life. In other words, they consistently experience failure and disappointment because there is an evil mark. They have marked them for failure. There are some people that have been marked for marital disappointment. No matter how beautiful and attractive they are, they will never get married. There are people that have been marked for separation. They can never be settled within, in any marriage. There are people that have been marked for untimely death. I'm telling you, you see a family, the, the first child died untimely, second untimely, third untimely. There is an evil mark at work in that family. There are some people that have been marked to be useless in life. Useless in life. Useless in life. As in, they will never be useful. There are some families, some parents, you have two or three sons, none of them are useful. None of them. No matter how you have tried to put, provide for them, they keep acting like lunatics and wasteful resources. Praise the Lord. There's an evil mark at work. There's an evil mark at work. And listen to me, this evil mark sometimes is older than even those children. They, they, are, they can be ancestral marks. Marks that have been placed by ancestral spirits in families because of disobedience. Because the, the, the children, children, children are no longer serving those idols. Like I always say in my videos, most of our ancestors, especially in Africa, in the Caribbean, and even in the United States of America, were worshipping idols. For example, when America was discovered, according to history by Columbus, now there were people already living in those lands. And those were called the Native Americans. I think the Red Indians and all that. These people were idol worshippers. They had their religion before Christianity came. They were idol worshippers. There are certain spirits that have been placed in the land that is manipulating the country today. You see many things you see happening in the United States of America, you think it's just physical. No, these are reactions of spirits that have been in the land even before the foundation of the land. It is the same in every country, in every village. Some people have been marked by the devil to be frustrated in life. And listen to me, when you are struggling under an evil man, it is not by hard work. That's why the Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. Why is God saying, by strength shall no man prevail? Why is the word of God saying, it's, it's not of him that will let, nor of him that run it? It's trying to let you know that there are powers that are beyond hard work. Someone say, I don't believe all these people. If you work hard, you succeed. Listen to me, my man of God, child of God. There, is, there are powers that is beyond hard work. Even the Bible saw it and said, by strength shall no man succeed, prevail. By stretch and no flesh prevail. He said it's not of him that will it or of him that run it, but it's of God that showed mercy. Sir, if there is an evil mark in your life, it doesn't matter how hard you work, it doesn't matter how creative you work, you will, your labor will be frustrated. Do you think that people that is everybody that is suffering that is not creative? Do you think everybody that is suffering that is that is not hardworking? Do you think that everybody that is suffering is lazy? No. That is, you have to you have to pray, you have to be a spiritual, especially when you are a Christian. You don't have to rely on hard work or, 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 or your intelligence. Evil marks can frustrate you. And there's, a, there's a family that was delivered. This boy was a first-class material. But there is an evil mark of uselessness in their family. Do you know that when this boy got to final year in Federal uh, University of Technology in Oweri, in Imo State, in, in Nigeria, now this guy got to his final year in the university, a, a first-class student, I think he was studying mathematics or something. A first class student, he ran mad. Just like that. 
He has been normal from first year to final year. Just when he was about to write his final year exams, this boy was already marked for first class. He ran mad. He didn't finish that exam. He ran mad for five years before he was delivered. He became mad. He would not be talking mathematics on the road. Naked, tata. He became mad. For It took five years for him to be delivered. That mark was erased from his life. Evil marks are real. Now, let me share some scriptures with you because the devil always copy what he sees God do. The devil always what, copies what he sees God do. God places a mark on his children, a mark of exemption, a mark of deliverance on his children. The same way the devil also places marks of destruction on victims. Now, let me share some scriptures with you this morning. Now, Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. Let me read Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4 to you. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. He said, go and set a mark of exemption upon all my children that are not partakers of this evil. Go and set a mark on them. By the time we are through with these prayers today, God is going to be placing a mark on you that will erase every mark and overrule every mark of the devil upon your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, Galatians chapter 6, verse 17. Henceforth, no man trouble me. Let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of Jesus Christ. You know, when, 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 when God uh, uh, chased Cain away, Cain said, now, nah, everybody that sees me will kill me because you have casted me out. God said, no, I'll place a mark on you so that anyone that sees you will not kill you. Just as God places marks on his children by the blood of Jesus, the same way the devil places marks on his victims. But today, as we pray, every satanic mark on your life shall be wiped off by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The blood of Jesus will wash away every mark of failure, every mark of evil in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus, spirit, soul, and body, you shall be satanic mark free, evil mark free, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, before we go into these prayers, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. This is a channel that prays on a daily basis. Every day we pray here, we don't joke, and we pray dangerous prayers, prayers that will make Satan run away from you. So if you want to be part of these prayers, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and you'll be glad you did. As you join us today in prayers, as you subscribe today, I see God wiping away every evil mark in your life and placing a mark of blessings and favor upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are we set to pray this prayer this morning? Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate the Lord. Father, I thank you for you are my father and you are my fighter. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray a prayer. Father, I thank you for you are my father and you are my fighter in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord, for you are my father and you are my fighter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for you are my father and you are my fighter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I give you praise. Jesus, I adore you. Thank you, Lord, for you are my father and you are my fighter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for you are my father and you are my fighter in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Oh Lord, by the blood of Jesus, wash me clean from every sin in my life. In the mighty name of your lift of us and prayer prayer. Father, by the blood of your son Jesus Christ, wash me clean from every sin in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, by the blood of your son Jesus the Christ, wash me clean from every sin in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, by the blood by the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Wash me clean, Lord. Wash me clean from every sin in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, pray this next prayer. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, begin to cover yourself with the blood. I cover myself with the blood. I soak myself with the blood. I soak my children with the blood. I soak my family with the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. 
I soak myself with the blood of Jesus. I soak my family with the blood of Jesus. I soak my children with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood. I cover myself with the blood. I cover myself with the blood. I soak myself with the blood. I soak myself with the blood. Pray that prayer for yourself. Pray that prayer for yourself. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I soak myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I soak myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I soak myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I soak myself with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Every satanic mark upon my spirit, soul, and body, I wash you now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Little brother, brother, brother. Every satanic mark in my soul, in my spirit, and in my body. I wash you out of my life now in, by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the little person of prayer, I wash away from my body, my spirit, my soul, every evil mark of the devil, every satanic mark of the devil placed in my spirit, in my soul, in my body. I wash you out by the blood of Jesus. I wash you out by the blood of Jesus. I wash you out by the blood of Jesus. Every satanic mark. Place in my spirit, soul, and body. I wash you by the blood. 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 Every satanic mark place in my spirit, soul, and body. I wash you by the blood. I erase you by the blood. I wash you by the blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic mark of the devil in my body, in my spirit, in my soul. I wash you out by the blood. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Father Lord, take your heavenly detergent and give me your own baths, cleansing me from every evil mark. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, take your heavenly soap, your heavenly detergent, and give me a bath. Washing away every evil mark from my body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Oh Lord, my Father. Take your heavenly soap, your heavenly detergent, and wash me clean. Give me a spiritual bath, washing away every evil mark from my life. Every mark of failure, mark of setback, mark of delay, mark of disappointment, mark of death, mark of any evil in my life. Holy Spirit, my Father, my fighter, wash me clean. Give me a heavenly bath. Give me a heavenly bath. Give me a heavenly bath. Wash me as clean, as white as snow. Every evil mark in my body. Oh, Father, give me a heavenly bath. Wash them away from my body. Wash them away from my body. Use your heavenly detergent, your heavenly soap, and wash me clean from every, every mark of the devil. Every mark of setback. Every mark that connects me to evil. Wash me clean with your heavenly soap. Wash me clean with your heavenly sponge. Wash me clean. Give me a heavenly bath, Lord. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Next prayer. Every dark meeting in the heavenlies, working against my life or targeted against my destiny, I command that meeting to be scattered by fire. In the mighty name of the little brother, 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 every dark meeting of the heavenlies, working against my life, working against my destiny, I command that meeting to scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every heavenly meeting in the heavenlies, every weak meeting held by spiritual wickedness in the heavenlies, uh, walking against my destiny, walking against my life, I command that meeting to scatter by fire. I command that meeting to scatter by fire. Pray that prayer. Every satanic meeting hosted in the heavenlies, walking against my life, walking against my family, walking against my destiny, I command that meeting to scatter by fire. I command that meeting to scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, my sacred rabbi, da da leko si zikrenosa, etine yaba shande, my zuzu bremote, every meeting, every satanic meeting, held in the heavenlies. I command that meeting to be scattered by fire. Every satanic meeting held against me, my life and destiny, in the heavenlies, I command that satanic meeting, scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I separate myself and I wash myself clean 
from every ancestral evil mark. Mark passed to me from my father, my grandfather to my father to myself. I wash myself clean from every ancestral evil mark. In the mighty name of God, begin to wash yourself clean by the blood. By the blood of Jesus, I wash myself clean from every ancestral evil mark. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I wash myself clean from every ancestral evil mark. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus the Christ, I wash myself clean from every ancestral evil mark. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood, by the blood of Jesus the Christ, I wash myself clean from every ancestral evil mark. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Next prayer. I decree and declare today that I shall succeed and no evil mark shall pull me down from henceforth. In the mighty name of the prayer, prayer of your life, I decree and I declare today I shall succeed and no evil mark shall pull me down henceforth. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare today I shall succeed and no evil mark shall pull me down from today henceforth. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and declare I shall succeed. No evil mark shall pull me down from today henceforth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, place your hand on your forehead. Place your hand on your forehead like this and make this decision. From today, I place the mark of the blood of Jesus upon my forehead. When death sees me, they shall pass over. When every form of evil sees me from today, they shall pass over. In the mighty name of God, begin to make that declaration. I decree, I place the mark of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The mark of favor. The mark of blessings, the mark of long life, the mark of protection, the mark of prosperity, the mark of soundness of health, the mark of soundness of heart, the mark of peace. I place the mark of the blood of Jesus in my forehead from today. Spirit, soul, and body, I place that mark. No evil shall come near me because I have the mark of Christ. No devil shall come near me from today because I have the mark of Christ. I place that mark on my forehead. I place it on my forehead of my children. I place it on the forehead of my loved ones. The mark of the blood of Jesus. No evil shall come near my dwelling from today. No evil shall prevail over my life from today. No more affliction upon my life. No more failure. No more setback. No more delays. No more marital disappointment. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be favor on the way. Blessings on the way. Testimonies on the way. I shall rise to the top in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Begin to appreciate the Lord for the mark that God has placed upon your forehead. The mark of his blood. The mark of everything good and everything blessings. Father, I give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. Take all the glory, take all the honor, take all adoration. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are delivered from every form of evil mark. And better still, the mark of Christ has been placed on your forehead. Evil shall never know your address for life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe you have been blessed by this prayer. I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. You can't be praying like this and be a victim. <laughs> Even the devil knows fire when he sees it. You can't be praying like this and be a victim. I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and you'll be glad you did. As you subscribe today, I see God fighting your battles on a higher level in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Also, like this video. Let us know how you have been blessed by it. If you have a prayer request, you drop it in the comment section. If you have a prayer topic, you drop it in the comment section. As you do so, the Lord will bless you richly in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, share this video on all social media platforms. You are privileged to participate in, and as you do so, God will keep blessing you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is Remain Pastor Ekechu Chinedu, your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Remain blessed. Stay safe in Jesus' great name. Amen. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah.